Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is May the 7th, 2021. We're here to give you all a price prediction for Luna, the cryptocurrency. If today's the first time ever of viewing our content, and you all appreciate how we're giving you all the price predictions, all without being confused and giving you all the heads up as to where price is going to go. Make sure before you tag out, hit that like button, share, subscribe, and also come back to these particular videos continually if you want to learn more about how to understand where prices are going to go all without being confused so now we're going to break down this particular price prediction we did in luna already you guys can tell we were expecting the market price to go higher in luna and we did this prediction on may the first right it was during our lookout live stream sessions one of our artists and members wanted us to do a price prediction for luna and we did and we were expecting the market to go higher in price and since that particular time, it has definitely exceeded our ultimate TP price, right? 9.13% is what we expected the market to ultimately go to. But as you can tell, right here on May the 3rd, the market came all the way up there towards $19, which would have garnered you about 15 and a quarter percent profitability in that prediction. It's all relatively simple once you understand what price bars and volume mean. Once you place those two in combination, you can actually understand what the market is trying to do and where it's trying to go, right? So let's go ahead and take that away and let's ensure that we are still in position to capitalize on the anticipated movement in Luna, all right? You guys can tell as I zoom out on this particular price chart, the market is still in a uptrend. So the whole gist of the momentum of this market is still one of higher price, okay? Now, the only thing we really need to speak on and talk about on this video is can the market still go down here to our ascending line, right? If the market is still weak, can we still see the market come in and prop up that price right there on our ascending line, okay? Because generally the market is still strong. So I'm not really too concerned that the market is gonna collapse right now in Luna, but we can possibly expect some weakness to come through for this cryptocurrency, at least to the point to where we can see the market trap come in and try to test that price on our ascending line. So let's spread out the time frames real quick and see what's going on in the market in luna on varying different time frames all right so you can see right here this is the two day time frame into the market in luna and generally the market has seen a lot of selling you know right around those couple of two day price bars that i'm circling the market did see some weakness and it hasn't been reaction reactionary towards it because the market is still able to hold price so what that tells us is that this market in Luna really wants to hold this price here. Okay, so around $15.60 is really important for the market in Luna to maintain. Because if we break that, then there's no doubt in my mind that we'll come and see this market try to test this next area of support, which is around $13, even on that ascending line. Okay, so as we switch over to a longer out time frame, we need to pay attention if the probability in the market in luna is definitely there for it to break fifteen dollars and sixty cents okay so let's look at this on a three-day time frame so this is a three-day time frame and again the market here is giving us some weakness it's not overly that weak but it is definitely losing its momentum to continue to see that strength look at this on the five day this is the five day time frame and when you see majority of consecutive price bars that's given us weakness you need to expect that the market is switching size from you know the one that was giving us strength initially to one of us lowering out that price and this is pretty much what we're getting on the three day as well as on the five day time frame looking here on the weekly time frame real quick the market here is still giving us weakness in luna okay even though this market may be garnering a lot of demand and interest in the news and on media and on youtube the market is still showing that there is not that much emphasis that people really want to purchase this Luna token right at this particular price. Everything's going to hinge on $15 and 60 cents. I'm here to tell you that right now. This market breaks $15 and 60 cents. We will come down to around 13 or even towards that ascending line that I've tried to reiterate early out in this video. Okay. Because this is definitely giving me some weakness here in Luna. So let's take a look at this on an hourly time frame to see if this market really is going to give us a lot of weakness. So this is the 11 hour time frame in Luna. And that area of support is either going to be here around $15 and 60 cents 
to $15 as a whole. Okay. Now this market is not garnering us any strength. Not only the 11 hour, not even here on the 13 hour time frame. So I'm going to play this to the downside. Okay. I'm going to expect the trap to lower the value of Luna. But when I say that, I don't want you all to think that the market is anticipated to crash because I am not actually seeing that come out. The area of support is definitely involved and entrenched right here on these hourly time frames. I'm seeing, you know, $16, $15.60 all the way down to 15 as a whole. So this market can still maintain a lot of strength within this forecast period right there in Luna. So we will have to definitely keep our eyes open on the market in Luna to see if it's going to be able to hold that particular price. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this prediction real quick. And let's see what would be the percentage movement to the downside in Luna if we were to play that. Okay. So if we said that the market is anticipated to try to come in and hold support around 16, that's still 3.71% profitability. We said around 15.60 though, $15.60. That's about six and a quarter. Okay, so it's it's not that big of a difference in the movement to the downside in Luna, but we need to play that because the market is not showing us that it wants to go higher in price, not yet. Okay, and I told you that $15 is the ultimate place that we can see this market in Luna come in touch. And if it does that, then all the powers to those who are willing to see this market increase in price, because literally we can't expect the trap to try to prop up that price around 15 and that is going to be at a crossroads to where the support area of $15 and this ascending line would cross. Okay. So we would have to come in and see that market really give us some volume, really give us some indication of market strength in order for us to really be con con confirmed that the market is going to go high in price right there at that crossroads. Okay. So let me circle that for you. It's right around this vicinity is where we can try to expect to see if the market is going to react to the strength or it's going to react to the weakness and we break it to the downside. All right. So let's go ahead and switch this back over to the daily time frame. And I'm not overly bearish. Right. So, you know, just relax to those who are looking for this market to explode to the moon. We're just simply expecting us to get some consolidation of trading back down here towards its ascending line. And then we'll come in and reevaluate the market in Luna. OK, so. Let me bring it down here just a tad there. So we should be able to see this market in Luna over the next couple of days. See what it does. We're playing weakness right now. 1560 will be our first area of take profit. All right. Fifteen dollars and sixty cents, which would have given us about what, what was it? Six dollars. I mean, six point. Right. Six percent will give us that profitability. We're going to take it all the way down to around fourteen dollars. Uh, just in case that market tries to dip and test this ascending line right there. All right. So this is it. This is what we're going to expect the market to do in Luna. Generally, the overall environment is still bullish in the sense that the market wants to go higher in price. The concern will come in, though, once the trap breaks that ascending line to the downside. He hasn't done it yet. So generally, the environment in Luna is one of higher price. Nearer term, we're playing in weakness, though, and we're going to be eyeing where the market comes in and holds support. $15.60, 15 will be better to see the strength come in because he will also confirm that the market's gonna hold that ascending line, okay? So let's be on the lookout for this. As always, I want you all to learn how to call the market right alongside with us. Tell me where do y'all expect the market price in Luna to go all without being confused. You know, there's no hype, there's no FUD, there's no FOMO. We only pay attention to the price. Everyone chases the price. Everyone is simply worried about the price. So just look at the price chart in order to get your answer. Tell me what you all think about Luna and where are we going to go? I would say over the next three weeks, you know, where would the price be in three weeks? This is what we're expecting. I want you to tell me what are you expecting in the market for Luna? Make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different.